Bonjour, Sigoli everyone, Mrs. C and Matt Asterician. Today we are at the Indian Community School, home of the ICS Eagles, live on location at the Tree of Peace. We'll be continuing our Animal Walk series, focusing on the eagle. In Menominee, we say Kane. In Ojibwe, we say Megizi. In Oneida, we say Adunyo. In Ho-Chunk, we say Kaksha. As you know, the eagle is very sacred. Eagle, it is said, is responsible for bringing our prayers to Creator. For those of you that don't know, when we say prayers, we offer tobacco as a medicine, a sacred offering so that we keep in balance what we ask for by giving something else. It is said tobacco is so powerful that when misused, it can hurt or kill. And that's true. It can really hurt humans if we smoke tobacco or chew tobacco. It's not for us. It's for Creator, and it's Creator's gift to us to use something so powerful that it can get our prayers and our thoughts and our asks, our appreciations and thanks to Creator. I was also taught another teaching that if you didn't have tobacco, you could actually use a hair. A hair from your head, taken and thought of in a good way, can be used as an offering and a prayer as well. That's pretty cool. You're sacred. And if you don't have any hair, that's okay. Our physical bodies, it's so important that we take care of them because our spirit lives inside our bodies. So it's our job as humans to make sure we are healthy and strong and take care of our spirit health. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 years ago, our three founding moms began our school. With the help of the Potawatomi, we became the Indian Community School Eagles. I've been teaching here for 20 years, and this beautiful medallion was given as an anniversary gift commemorating my 15th year of teaching. I love it. It reminds me to be an eagle. I'm an eagle, you're an eagle, your families are eagles, our communities are part of our eagle world, and we all have responsibilities. The animals are great teachers, if only we are wise enough to listen. So, listen y'all to some of our responsibilities and teachings of the eagle. Weshkoshek, a good place to live. The Menominee and Ho-Chunk are indigenous to Wisconsin. The Menominee, Gene, Golden Eagle, are a principal clan and fire carrier. Eagle clan took up war responsibilities, served as warriors, and worked as laborers. For the Menominee, peace is ideal and war disrupts peace. The Menominee protect the peace by seeking to avoid battles. The Ho-Chunk, Kekshep Hikikarich, provide security for the tribe's chiefs and serve as soldiers. Eagle Clan is one of four Sky Clans. In Ojibwe, the Bird Clan are the keepers of the knowledge and responsible for spreading seeds of knowledge. Traditionally, they are our teachers and farmers. In the Ojibwe Seven Grandfather Teachings, the Eagle represents love because he has the strength to carry all teachings. The eagle has the ability to fly highest and closest to the Creator. The eagle's teaching of love can be found in the core of all other teachings. Therefore, an eagle feather is considered the highest honor and a sacred gift. Eagle Silence In a talking circle, an eagle feather shows us whose turn it is to speak. Everyone understands it is only that person's turn to share. It is out of great respect that all others are silent. The Eagle E stands for Eagle Silence in our school's PBIS way. It is used to prepare all other eagles to listen responsibly and with respect. We learn when it is our turn to listen, we listen with our whole heart. The American Indian Religious Freedom Act of 1978 protects the rights of Native Americans to use and possess sacred objects, including eagle feathers. Eagles are protected by federal laws such as the Eagle Act, the Migratory Bird Act, and the Lacey Act. According to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, only tribal members may pick up and keep naturally fallen eagle feathers. It is illegal for any other individual to do so. In the Iroquois story of Hiawatha and the Peacemaker, war was the way before peace. When peace was restored, the weapons were buried under the Great Tree of Peace. This is our ICS Tree of Peace. 
When we need to, staff and students can come here to bury other weapons, such as words or actions written on a piece of paper that cause harm to the peace. The eagle in the Iroquois story watches over the great tree of peace and it is eagle's responsibility to alert all others when someone is not being peaceful. We take to heart our responsibilities as eagle peacemakers. So your homework this week, protect the peace, support others and act responsibly. And don't forget to do the eagle yoga pose. Whoa, that was a lot of great information. Miigwitch, Migizzi. I'm so thankful. Keep listening and learning, everyone, so that you too can be eagle strong. Wawanan, Miigwitch, and Yawan go to you too. Thank you for listening. Keti Panan, I love you. Tanani in a way now. See you later. Kamata Sananan, be well. Oh no!